Hey there guys, my name's Simon and welcome back to another sex review. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing you the Nokia 920 and I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on it. First of all, as you can see, this is quite a large phone. It falls into the phablet category. Uh, going by around 130mm by 70mm, it's also quite chunky in comparison to most smartphones these days. It's uh, Whilst every other smartphone seems to get smaller, Nokia seems to be wanting to get bigger. It also weighs quite a bit as well. It's around about 185 grams. I'm pretty sure if people had enough of this, they could probably make a house out of it. It's it's quite like a brick. Pretty heavy. Obviously not too heavy for a smartphone, but in comparison to others, yeah, this one's definitely in all the pies. That being said, though, after a while, I had to good play around with this. Um, if you <laughs> if you hold it on for a good while or just you know like a day or two. Uh, you do get used to it. It like, almost fits in the palm of my hand quite nicely. Um, going back to the iPhone 5, actually, the iPhone 5, I felt like I was going to break it. You know, It just felt so small and flimsy in comparison. Actually, now whilst I'm judging its size, I'm just going to go on about the uh, how much of a brick this thing really is. So basically, people online have done stress tests on this phone. They've used bricks, they've used hammers, they've used knives, they've used all sorts. This thing is a beast uh, in terms of drop damage and anything like that. If you're one of these clumsy people that tends to have these, uh, have one of these iPhones and always seems to land on the front of its face and and cracks the glass almost instantly uh, the moment you get it. I would really seriously recommend getting either this or the Nokia 820 because it is. They are resistant. In general everyday life, you know, you've probably got coins or keys in your pocket. And this thing, you know, has done the same thing for me. I've had it for a good while. Um, and, you know, this thing's perfectly fine. It's just hardly any scratches at all. It's pretty cool. Whilst I'm going on about the screen, I might as well go on about that. Um, whilst we're looking at it, a 4.5 inches in screen. I know it's it's quite a big phone, but for the size of the phone, the screen isn't all that massive. I, um, but the, there's without a, a doubt that the colour in this is pretty intense. Uh, it's got a real deep black, or should I say it's got a deeper black than most phones have these days. I think it's got a deeper black than the iPhone 5. I keep comparing it to that, probably shouldn't. It can run full HD videos uh, as well. I mean, I've been watching The Walking Dead uh, recently on this, and you know, I can't seemingly stop getting away from it. And I'm just watching this on my phone on the work, uh, and it's it's pretty intense. You know, it's got the full quality. The only issue is obviously that it can't run uh, quite a few odd formats, as it were. So if you're downloading torrents, MK4s generally won't work with this phone. You'll need to convert them. And a few other things, but apart from that, this uh, this phone is pretty cool. It's got a great touch display, actually. Super sensitive. You can sort of dart across the screen and it will uh, pick up anything. I tried it out with uh, Fruit Ninja. Now, obviously, I had a few issues with that, but I'm just rubbish at Fruit Ninja. Obviously, it doesn't work with the pen, but if you're wearing gloves and stuff, uh, I found, you know, during this weather lately, actually, because it's been so cold, I've been just wearing gloves, and it just seems to work just fine. Now, Windows, uh, now the Nokia 920 being on Windows 8, this is obviously the new operating system. Uh, it's the first time I've actually started using it properly, but I like the how there's there's quite a bit of customizability around it. You I mean you can hold down the buttons and you, uh, the display buttons, and you can just move them around to your own things. Uh, they've got this new thing called Live Tiles, which obviously updates if you've got any uh, apps like I've got BBC News on my phone. Uh, it spins that around and updates to see what's news and going on. Uh, also, for your albums, obviously you can see flick through your pictures uh, whilst you're on your dashboard. I say flick through, but it will change them. So if you're browsing randomly, and there's plenty of apps, not a huge amount in comparison to iOS and HTC. But so if you're not a big apps person or you're not huge into downloading a huge amount of games onto your uh, uh, phone, like via the App Store, then give it a whirl. However, I take that back about the games thing. Obviously, this can connect to Xbox Live, so you can message people, you can actually control the, your Xbox with the phone with, using this smart glass thing, which is pretty cool, I will admit. It's, you know, hopefully going on, uh, things, more things will be going that way, just, uh, you know, but it's only a glorified remote. I mean, there's, you can't use it really for gaming on the Xbox, which is a real shame. Uh, one also big shame is that actually the, the, the games for the phone, um, again, there aren't a huge amount, obviously. I know it's Nokia, I know it's Windows, but I would love the fact that it's connected to Xbox Live. I would love to have downloaded more. Um, like Bastion. I would have loved to have played Bastion on this. This That would have been amazing. Battery life on this seems to be pretty good. I've managed to last make this one last for about four days at the moment. 
and that's with phone calls, gaming, and watching the video every now and again. So sort of, I was surprised. I was really, really surprised actually. Either that, or I've got a supercharged battery. <laughs> Moving on to the camera, now this is one of the main selling points of this phone was the fact that it had so many apps that would work with the camera. Now it's got an 8 megapixel camera, which is a shame, uh, admittedly, that this is falling into this sort of the industry standards. I'd much rather, I don't understand why phones are going this way and sort of just being 8 megapixel, probably just because it's cheap. But this thing has something called pure vision. Now what that is meant to do is, A, it's meant to help uh, image stabilization. So if your target is moving, then you know it will create a crisp, crisper picture. So it will sort of try to blur out the background as well and hopefully focus on the, your main target. It will try to adjust the lighting so the area doesn't look as dark. So your picture is sort of more illuminated so if you've got a target you're trying to take a picture of someone in the sunset or uh, or a dimming light it will brighten it up so it will the the picture looks crisper and looks nicer in general so you know you don't get the silhouetted person in the background unless that's exactly what you ten intended you can also you can keep doing that if that's what you want on top of that the camera has a few designed apps i think this is what nokia or the lumias even were more sort of specified towards it seems um, there, there's a few camera apps which you can use out there. The the ones that normally come with the phone, uh, something called Smart Shoot or Creative Photos. So Smart Shoot allows you to take a sequence of pictures uh, at during the same time. So you know it it takes five pictures and you can choose through which one which one is the best. Now if someone decides to photo bomb you or photo bomb in one of these pictures, you can just click it and edit him out. Now obviously it seems like I've uh, my when I tried doing this in this picture just as a trial run uh, it seems to want to edit out the bottles and part of my friend's face um, obviously my phone doesn't like him so you know but it's not flawless but it can uh, certainly helps if it, there's literally someone invading in the picture like in one or two shots it can just erase them and you can just flick back to another picture and then raise it again and it will just go they'll be completely out of it and all your friends will be there to see happy smiling ish unless you've got friends like mine. So it's also got something called Nokia City Lens. So if you're connected to the internet whilst out and about, you could just take a picture of your environment and it will go, you know, hey, look, this is like a restaurant. This is a garage. This is this, 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 this. Uh, and also, um, it also, if you, after it, it will show you a locations of nearby restaurants and stuff like that. And uh, that, I think that's pretty nifty. Actually, I've just thought that could be really useful whilst you're abroad. Obviously, again, uh, the video you're recording in 1080p and uh, the front camera is 720p. Nothing majorly special there. So to wrap this up, in summary, if you are in after a phone that you can drop and throw around without it breaking the first time you get it, or you're simply bored of all the apps and you want a phone that just simply works and you fancy trying out a new system rather than HTC and iOS, then I recommend checking out the Nokia 920 or the Lumia 820. Both similar models with different specs, but all the same, very, very similar. And you can check prices at www.webuy.com or if you have one to sell, then again, you can check the price on www.webuy.com or go to your local sex store to which a helpful member of staff there will be able to give you prices and quotes on what you're after. Thank you again, guys, for watching this small review. Feel free to check back for some more in the future. Hopefully, I should have uh, maybe a camera next time. I don't know. I'll try to bring something new rather than just phones and tablets. And I'll see you next time. Cool.